Today's video is being sponsored by Dashlane, the desktop and mobile app designed to keep you and your passwords safe. Hey guys, it's Kralz. Welcome back to the Minecraft Inspiration Series with me, Kralz, and... Andy Zora. Welcome back, everybody. Andy. Oh, you're looking smart. Look at this suit. Thank you. And I feel naked yeah, here. That is my Hermitcraft business suit. What? I'll put, I'll put some pants on. There we go. Hobo. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> bringing Inspiration Series since 2000. When did we start? It's been a few years, right? 2014. Oh, we've been around. We've been around forever. Mm -hmm. And ladies and gentlemen, today we are on the World of Kerala server in a warp called Futaba City. Konnichiwa. And is Yoda. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. And the, wow. this is a beautiful uh, Japanese town recreation. I'm I'm blown away. This is like this is spot on and just perfect. Like it's not fully done yet. Uh, but we, when I saw this, we were like, we need to show this. We definitely need to show this because there is so much inspiration to get Andy from this. It's amazing. It absolutely is absolutely amazing. Absolutely beautiful. I've tried like, Japanese, but never contemporary Japanese, modern Japanese. These guys have pulled it off. It is like, I, you know what, I, see, I do see the temple in the distance and there's something I really mm -hmm. want to check out. But you know what, like, you know, you have those like little lanterns, Japanese lanterns over here. Like, yeah. it's so simple. Such a simple Very idea, simple. but you, but you just spot it, spot it straight off. That is a Jungle lantern sign. thing. sign. And of course the android gives off light, so. Perfect. <sighs> this is perfect. You know, let's take a little flyby around this place and then let's step into a few houses and whatnot. Like, I see some of them are done on the inside, some are not, but it is just spot on when it comes to like the usage of trapdoors all over the place. I think that's key for this style. Uh, loads of trapdoors, uh, slabs as well. And then they've got some custom banners, I think, uh, kicking around here somewhere, which kind of really adds to the vibe. <sighs> So, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to come up, uh, come on the server, please feel free to do so. There's going to be a link uh, in the description. I see the temple. There's going to be a link in the description and also the warp. So, if you just want to take your time, embrace this up close and personal, get some inspiration, come on and check it oh, out. Oh, look at this! Little what? player heads, Japanese player heads up here. Adds that little <gasps> splash of color. Ah. Wow, they like little 3D things as well. That's Dude. so cool. That it's is very brown and grey and white, which is accurate, but then the little splashes of colour with the, the, just, uh, the blossom oh. trees and the lanterns. <laughs> have, you, have you seen this so tree? epic. I know. Like, oh, <laughs> little smokes. Amazing. Wow, how do they place the plants like that? Is that... I guess that's world edit, right? Stop lag thing? Maybe it's a stop yeah. lag thing where you can... Oh, my. Oh, look at the little bicycle. Oh, my goodness. A little motorbike. Oh. Motorbike, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> little bits. I love it. You know what? <laughs> little bits of world edit. Let's role play this a little bit. What is this? Sujos. Like, I'm blown away about the level of inspiration. Like, it's, it's so perfect. You, what? What do you go these in? Jungle, these jungle trapdoors? These are amazing. Okay. I'm, I do have a little bit of slight issue with height inside. Well, but when, when you grow up, Kralis, you'll be able to come here and shop properly. But I'm a real boy, Andy. Oh, this is a you dude. Fantastic Guess battle usage. Let's just watch which one Corrales goes in, guys. We'll just stand back and see which bathroom he chooses. Corrales in his natural neighborhood. <laughs> oh, I need to. Hello. Okay. <laughs> There's nobody <here. laughs> here. <laughs> but I have never thought about that. I like using banners for like toilet signs. I mean, it's, it's, it's going to be doable because we see genius. them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see them? It's doable. Wow. That is, what is this lady doing? It's like, oh no, that's kind of like one of those, uh, you know how you have the, the geishas and they have like this little thing on the back, maybe? You know, they put like. The sticks uh, in their hair. They have like little twigs or something in their hair. Yeah, twigs is are, probably not the right word, to be honest. But. No, not twigs. Like hairpins, hair, hair sticks, mm -hmm. chopsticks. I don't even know. Let's head over here, Andy. Because I like this step. Well, I don't know what it is. My wife uses them sometimes. It looks like a chopstick, right? Well, it's handy oh, if you like. If, if, if you drop your fork, you can just take out your chopsticks from your hair. Might not, not be hygienic. the most hygienic, hygienic way, but yeah, that is a. Okay, so this is under construction still, but the oh, shape is so handy. cool. <gasps> what is this? A palace? Did you see this? 
I've seen nothing. Oh, with the prismarine. That is, a little bit is... further on. The, the, the I'm, temple I'm, itself. How many layers? One, two, three, I'm four, five, way. six layers. Wow. Like that. Oh, wow. No, this is actually really nice. Like this I've, is tried, I've, I've, try, I've tried, I've tried, I've tried, I've tried one of those in in the in the in the past, and yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> never got it's out. These of corners, I never get the corners properly. I need to really come here and count the blocks, I guess. Ladies and gentlemen, these little uh, corners please, are just so cool. Please come on the server and check it out. You will get some inspiration, and it's not only like this. There are so many warps and modern places, uh, medieval mm -hmm. places, whatever. Small vending machines. This is something they have all over the place in in Japan. Those little vending machines. All over the place. Absolutely. So is that? Yes, what? they sell just about anything in them as well, I've heard. Bat, yeah. Bat, yeah, bat, cat, and dog. <laughs> wow. I just love the roofs in this. So epic. Actually so cool inside. They've used iron bars in the window. That looks so amazing from the outside as well. Wow. Like, all those shapes, Andy. Like, all those roof shapes. Yeah, so from the sides, you've Small, got these sort of triangular, ones. but gently sloping roofs that get more and more slopey as they go out. And then you've got the little kicked up corners, typical of Japanese. But the, the work with the uh, quartz stairs, that is impressive. Impressive, impressive. <laughs> that impressive. is so, so nice. I'm not sure this continues because obviously it's being under construction still. Okay, we do have a little medieval part over here. So, or I mean, a modern part over here. So let's let's head back. I'm heading back to the big, big temple over here because mm -hmm. I'm blown away about this. Like, I think this, when this is going to be completed, I mean, this is not only that. Have you seen the, the curvature on the wall outside as well? Like, it's such a small thing. And I know I'm a nerd when it comes to stuff like this, but I love this. Sorry, which building? The uh, tall the, temple? The, 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 yeah, the tall temple, yeah. The tall temple, yeah. The curves are just nailed. It is so difficult. So you've got slabs here. I like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, three, and two. So it's four, <laughs> four, three, two on slabs, but they're overlapping by one. Ah, complicated. <laughs> okay, it's super dark on the inside, but it is, it is done on the bottom floor. <sighs> I feel like doing a tutorial Man. just on that curve. I feel like people don't try Japanese because of these little corner curves. I, I, I'm put off by the corner curves. But it's super just... tricky because it's kind of yeah. like overlapping uh, slabs up and mm -hmm. down, up and down. And then you just need to kind of uh, find a depth of it as well, right? So it's kind of like, it is tricky, but this is just spot on. The Andy... is well, uh, <laughs> uh, very clever. Futaba. <laughs> Futaba. That's what they what call are, football in are... Scotland, I think. <laughs> Do you think it means futaba? Do you think it means <laughs> football in Futuba. Japanese as well? No. Like, I'm not sure this is connected to this, but I think it is. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Wow. This looks like, so nice. This is look at epic. The, look at the Look at the tree as well. Ha! Huh. So this is really, really nice. Cool wow. Oh, I love that. They've just used slabs and blocks yeah, to make the that's... branches. But the lighthouse. Wow, man. But the, the lighthouse is, is just they've beautiful. They've nailed it, haven't they? And I love this little balcony, the first balcony, because it's kind of supported by these um, dark oak fences down to a little lip that sticks out with slabs. You're a lip. Kind of epic, actually. You know what? I can actually go on an adventure on the inside all the way up. I think. I'll try and... Aha, I'm going to look through the window. Hello. Here we are. Hello. <laughs> 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 that was cool. And I will try and get it... up here. Ha! Ah, hello. Can I come around? Yes, you hello. can. Uh -huh. So it does actually work. This is, if you guys need a lighthouse inspiration, come on a server, because this is one phenomenal looking lighthouse. And not even, not only that, like the whole like uh, lighthouse building over here. I it just fits so nice tutorial, together. Just a lighthouse tutorial. Do the thing it would be. Block, obviously, right? there's a little bit. No, it's actually no, no valid at all. I don't think there's hardly any. There's a dragon egg on top. Kind of cool. Well, be, yeah, I guess that is, that is, I guess, creative. But other than that, everything is kind of like doable. Have you seen this building? Just a nice house, isn't it? And the hanging down ladders. <sighs> really, really nice. Such a cool detail. So Japanese-y. <laughs> it is totally <laughs> Japanese-y. And uh, the white stained glass works well as well. It's like almost like this little paper... Um, wow. partitions that they have. 
No, wait, have like the little like if you come on on the other side and enter for mm -hmm. the for the tour gate or the, the entrance mm -hmm. over here, they have like little shoes. They're like look, of course. Take TikToks. your shoes off when you come into Take this you. house. Wow. Is there a <laughs> sign on this house? Because this is really, yeah, really cool. It it is. It is a sign. It is made by Ton Di Don Ton Diego Seven. Ton Diego Seven. Tom I was just Diego speaking to seven. him. He didn't show me this. This is really nice. Like it just brings out the Japanese feel. The room partitions. There's so many options, but uh, the combination of ladder and banner, overlapping banner, very very cool. Absolutely beautiful. Like like one thing which I really love, like when you come up here, the little stairs, where you kind of take off your little shoes. Uh, mm -hmm. And then just come over here and like I don't know, just and the low vibe. down seats, the low down uh, tables where you just cross your legs, each you eat your food. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Let me see what oh, a little toilet over here, and then we have what? Little oh, lounge. Can you just imagine just sitting over here, and then you have the oh, garden. The ceiling. <gasps> the, the, he's oh. used barrels for the ceiling. Oh. And then. Oh, look at those little stairs with the little off-centered rotation. Oh, it's man, like, that is this cool. Is, this is super clever. And the kitchen. This is all doable <gasps> as well in terms of a light. Look at this. Oh, do you know what? That's so good. Sneaky screenshot for Andy. Andy, do it. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm hands down blow. Is that? And now a word from today's sponsor. So if you haven't heard about Dashlane before, let me tell you. It is an amazing password manager. It will make everything you do online on any of your devices faster and easier. Now I myself, I am terrible at remembering passwords. Might be the age, who knows? However, Dashlane makes this process so much easier as it will generate and store unique passwords for every account. And it even autofills your personal and financial details so checkouts are secure and easy. I first got Dashlane after hearing it was a highly recommended password manager, but I did find out that they also have various other features to protect your identity and keep you safe on the interwebs. So Dashlane provides you with a VPN and dark web monitoring, and it will alert you if any of your accounts have been compromised. Like for myself, it just makes my surfing on the internet so much easier, faster and safer, and I have to say, I love it. So if you want to try Dashlane, head to www.www dashlane.com slash Keralis and try it for free on your first device. Then if you want to upgrade to premium, make sure you use the code Keralis to get 25% off. Okay? So this made my life so much easier and I really hope it does the same for you. Oh, it's a hot tub. A huge I one. don't think I've ever been so inspired Hi. to build. <laughs> this is a family hot tub. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even see you. Maybe this is good, to be honest. Because there's so much it's, it's It's a really cool addition. <laughs> I've never thought about that. <laughs> they put campfires underneath, I Yeah. Think. The smoke in this <laughs> texture pack oh is so God. thick. <laughs> Let me out. Okay. <laughs> Look at... Oh, no. They even got a hot spring outside. Wow, this is this a, a is luxury nice. house. Wow. Oh, do they have this in Japan? Just like actual. Yeah, they do. Don't don't have you hot see like the, in the garden? Maybe not in the garden, but have you seen like there's there's a place where you have all the monkeys and they usually just bathe in those hot springs. There's a little place which is really known for for it. <laughs> do you know, <laughs> this is so cute, so peaceful. A little Japanese garden, lake. Look at this house here. The the the. The arch on Oh, it. wow. They've nailed the that arch, that curve. This is worth coming on and counting the blocks. Huh. Mm, that is... Oh, man. Another um... sneaky screenshot right there, actually. I can't resist. <laughs> <I'm beyond. laughs> See, this is what I mean. There's so much inspiration to be had from this. And then we have this, uh, oh, not gazebo, but, but, you know, on the other side of the lake. A little, like, chill out area, I guess. All oh, the man. trees as well. They could use a tree pack. Oh, dude. I mean, because it's, they must use the tree pack. It would take too long, but whoever built that pack, these trees it I is, love. It is absolutely phenomenal. I'm actually gonna, gonna, gonna steal a few of them because I love them so much. I, mean, oh, I wish I could do those uh, those blossom uh, trees, cherry blossom trees. Mm. Well, they're fantastic. <laughs> I mean, it's just, just a whole big lumps beautiful. of uh, pink. 
Pink concrete. Pink concrete also. Pink glazed terracotta. <laughs> Get different He's... shades. Oh, like Andy. Now, now I haven't spotted it before. Uh, rendezvous at the, at the gazebo again. Okay. Okay, oh, the lake. Yeah, heavy. It's not a gazebo. Here? Sorry, everybody. Like, if you just fly after me, like, mm -hmm. the usage of the banners, I didn't notice it until now. You mentioned that in the, in the beginning of the video, right? Just look how cool this looks. It's not done on the These are the side. ones I was remembering. Yeah. Because you've got two different banners here, haven't you? You've got the one with the cross and the one with the simple outline. Yeah. Like, that's really simple to make a banner like that. It is it's super, super easy, but how much does it add? Is that, instead of using, like, uh, I mean, for example, we could maybe be using trapdoors. Uh, so, so they've put the, ba the trapdoor on one side of the block, like that. And a banner. So it's and a super thin wall. Ugh. You need two of them. Two of there them. You go. And then do that. Boom. Perfect. Boom. And then you get the, you get the super thin walls, and you have this pattern. Ay, ay, ay. Konnichiwa. Arigatomasu. What is happening? Don't look. Don't look. <laughs> have you been grieving? <laughs> no, no. Improving. That's what I we always bring, call it, right? I can't bring you anywhere, Andy, anymore. Uh, oh, I see it. I see the Golden Temple. I've seen this. You're here? I've seen this oh. in real life. There's a Golden oh, Temple you, in, are uh, you really? in Kyoto. I f yeah, so it does, I think, re it does uh, resemble that quite a bit. I think, who did this? It's, Tony and Nick, was it? It's huge on a lake, and it's absolutely beautiful. Maybe it's not this exact thing, but it really looks like it. It's probably taking inspiration right from it. Tony yeah. Diego and Nick the G one two three. I think Nick's one of the mods on the King server. Kinkaku G Temple. It just looks golden like it's pavilion. The fake might be there. The yellow concrete is just love. And then you've wow. got these sea lanterns embedded. I'm surprised they haven't used more sea lanterns actually in the Japanese builds because they look kind of Japanesey anyway in this texture pack. Bit, little fine lines. Andy, this is... Be, it's awesome, isn't it? It's be, beautiful. absolutely beautiful. Like, I mean, what can we say? Like, ladies and gentlemen, you need inspiration, you need to see inspiration. Wow. See the phoenix on top? I saw the phoenix it's on well. top. It's so difficult to make small statues in Minecraft. And these guys have nailed a small phoenix statue. Beautiful. <sighs> I mean, have you seen this over here? Oh, the, the other statue? Yeah. Yeah. Very elegant as well. <laughs> See, it's, it's, it's <laughs> slightly easier when it's bigger like this. But still, this is complicated as well. Oh, my goodness. This is absolutely... Like... Oh, <laughs> I'm lost <laughs> words. It is so good, Andy. <gasps> Look at these little urn things. Wow. Yeah, I've seen them all over the place uh, inside of the city how as well. They done? Oh, the top, it's got a little... Diorite wall with all the four directions. So that's Diary, like, yeah. Wall. Little, yeah. <laughs> world edit, I guess. Yeah. A little bit of world like, edit for the top there, but that's kind of epic, actually. I'm going back to the start. Ladies and gentlemen, like all what right. can I say? This 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 is love. There's so much bits and pieces where you just get inspiration from it. Like even even Amazing. the gates, dude. Even the gates. Do you know, I, I like, would never really motivate myself to do Japanese modern, but I am super motivated and inspired now. Especially the little statues, the little dragon statues, the phoenix. And um, this is, this is you, you could actually place a Japanese right house in any neighborhood, I think. Even if you've got like a an American or a European neighborhood, there's no reason why you can't just stick a Japanese house in it. People order all sorts of different houses, don't they? Yeah, dude, my neighbor, like, I live in Sweden, my neighbor is Polish. I'm Polish as well, but but I live in Sweden, and he lives in Sweden. But he's a, he's a constructor, a constructor, like a contractor mm -hmm. and whatnot. And he built a Polish house, like a Polish design <laughs> house. There you go. Yeah, so I mean, it's totally doable. Oh, dude, this, ladies and gentlemen. The street's so cool. Oh, this, is, uh, this is awesome. Let's just go to the start, Andy. Mm -hmm. Let's Let's say goodbyes. People, come on and check it out up close and personal. And if anybody watching this from Japan... Let us know what you guys think about this, because obviously this is this might be much closer to your hearts than than, than our hearts, mm -hmm. right? Because they live and there. Be the and they see <clears throat> they'll be the expert as well. Exactly. Mundo. Like I'm, I'm just, I'm just blown away. A fantastic usage of of, of blocks. Some very, very subtle, tiny little details as well, which <laughs> are quite incredible. The use of double trap doors, <laughs> wow. back to back, that double trap doors, doing that lip all the way around. And then the under under the eaves, they've used a lot of these little gates as well. 
We say and goodbye, trap doors but in the we windows. can't. <laughs> this, is, this is, this by the way, spotting things. Thing, this is something I've I've seen <clears> quite a bit. <throat> mm-hmm. Like those are like all like uh, round windows arches. Yeah. They've been, and the thing about this is that you can have them like next to a normal window, like square uh-huh. window, and boom, there's window, and it works. It does work, it especially does work. like in in this in this theme. We have not seen this street, Andy. <laughs> Oh, wow. Ah, this is so cool. There's even more. Yeah, I think there's some houses here being constructed. <gasps> Look at the Tom tiny Diego car against seven. the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, one thing which struck me, like, even, even in Tokyo, uh, this, this, some of the streets inside of the city are super narrow. And then you yeah. have, like, those uh, tiny Toyota delivery trucks. It's yeah, just, absolutely. They have that in tiny. Italy as well. Have you seen them in Italy? The little yeah, tiny yeah. Fiat Pandas and things. Yeah, Fiat yeah. 500s in the tiny streets. It's, so, it like, it just makes sense. And the thing you about it, you, can, you, 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 cannot, you cannot stand in a cross, crossway, right? And you have the mm-hmm. lights. And it's pretty much just two steps and you're on the other side of the street. So you just stand there like this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> First it's Japanese a, build ever. Very polite. Are um, you kidding me? Oops, sorry. I don't want to step on, on somebody's bed or whatnot. And more. Like, no. D- no. Enough. Enough. Ladies and gentlemen, come on the server, check it out up close and personal, and all the builders creating this. This is so much inspiration. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely incredible. I'm and there's, lost there's words. more to come as well. There's more to come. It's not finished. It's not even done. You know what, Andy? Let's, let's mm-hmm. make a promise that we're going to get back to this uh, in another video when it's further down into the development, okay? Yeah, I'm down for that. I'm down for that. I actually really, really like this. This is so inspiring. I love it. I love your love face. Love the statues, especially. I kind of love you. I put my pants well. on, especially for you. My mom loves my face quite a bit. Uh, yeah, it, uh, amazing pants, Andy. Thank Ladies you. and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Do check out Andy's point of view. There's going to be a link to his channel in the description below this video. But most importantly, come on the server and check this out up close and personal. Right, Andy? Absolutely. Vice and versa, link in my channel to Corrales, who Spank. is one of the hermits from Hermitcraft. And uh, you yeah. built a lighthouse recently. I, I did. It's not the, like, after seeing this, let's I not talk it about good. it. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> take care <laughs> for <laughs> now. Take care and have a fantastic day. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao.